Welcome to a demonstration of Hedvig's integration with Docker and Docker Data Center using the Hedvig Docker Volume plugin. As Docker users deploy more and more container-based applications, the ability to easily deploy containers, to share and persist data in storage volumes, and to run and manage the entire environment through a single interface becomes critical to success. Our demo will give you a view into how Hedvig and Docker work together to easily manage your container deployments. We'll start out in the Docker Universal Control Plane interface. From this main dashboard, you can see a snapshot of what's in the environment. We're supporting our demo with a three-node Hedvig storage cluster shown here. We've already created a master NFS virtual disk for our volumes, and we already have a couple of what we call child virtual disks configured here. And as we provision additional storage volumes for our containers through Docker, we'll see new virtual disks created here. This approach, using NFS, enables easy sharing of volumes between many containers. To provision storage in the environment, we go to the Volumes area and select Create Volume. Now, to provision a disk on Hedvig, you simply enter a name and type Hedvig in the Driver field, and then in the Options area, you can indicate a size. But also in this field, you can specify virtual disk options to fit your containerized app. Things like deduplication and compression, the number of copies, the use of advanced features like flash caching as well as multi-data center availability. For the demo, we'll do a simple default 10 gigabyte volume. For every action we take, we'll see a confirmation notification in the lower right of our screen as shown here. We're going to show our joint capabilities using MongoDB in a container. This requires two volumes, one for data and one for some config files. So let's create a second similar to the first. If we look into the Hedvig interface, we now see our two volumes in our list. We can click and see the attributes of these volumes, including the size, which matches what we specified during provisioning in Docker. Now, let's deploy our MongoDB containers. We indicate the container image we'll use. We name our container. And if we scroll down to the volumes area, we can point the container to our two volumes on Hedvig. Hit run container and Docker deploys our app container. We can scroll to see the details of the new container, including the volumes in use. What we'll do next is open our console to add some data and interact with MongoDB. We can run a command to see the in-use file systems, and here we'll see our two persistent storage volumes that live on the Hedvig cluster. To get started, we'll need some data to interact with. We'll use this particular data set, which is a listing of restaurants with just over 25,000 entries. Imagine, if you will, that this is the backbone of something like a mobile app that lets users search for new places to eat. We can build the service using containers, using a NoSQL database like MongoDB, and using Hedvig to store all of the important data. We fire up MongoDB, and then we indicate we will use our test database. We can show all of the data, and we can also do a specific search. Let's say we're in the mood for American food, and we know just the place, the downtown deli. We can ask for the results and see all the attributes like the street address and the city. Let's exit and clear out, and now we'll remove the container. What's key with the Hedvig integration with Docker is that the volumes we've created contain our stateful data that will persist even when a container is shut down and removed. Let's start a completely different MongoDB container. We'll give it a new name, but we'll also point it to the very same volumes on Hedvig that were used by the previous container. Now we can run the container and gain access to the same data set used with our first MongoDB container. Now we can again remove the container, and if we had a requirement to do so, we can also delete the volumes we created. Again, all of this is being driven through the Docker Universal Control Plane interface. And just to show the direct integration, we can look back at the Hedvig UI, and we see that our two volumes are no longer listed. Thank you for watching our short demo. For more information on the integration with Hedvig and Docker, please visit hedviginc.com.